The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. Welcome to another verse from the Psalms. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite of all. And so favorite it is that it is another one of those verses that I read every morning of my life. It is so powerful. It is so full. And it is such a blessing to me day in and day out that I just read it every single morning. Let's look at it a little more closely. You know it. You know it by heart probably. And you've thought about it many times. So let's maybe this just review what it means. First of all, the Lord that is Jehovah, is my shepherd. Now, we have to realize that this is speaking metaphorically. And I am not a sheep, as I understand a sheep, four-legged sheep. And the Lord is not a shepherd, as I understand a physical shepherd to be. But he is a shepherd in every way I understand what a shepherd is. And I am a sheep in very much a sense in which I understand a sheep to be. So it's not, it's metaphorical, but it's very, very real. It's just spiritual. It's on the spiritual plane. When he says, the Lord is my shepherd, he does not mean that he is in a sheepfold with his sheep. No, he means that the God of heaven is his personal shepherd. That is huge. The shepherd owns him the shepherd protects him. The shepherd leads, guides, feeds, and all of these things he's going to talk about in the coming verses. But it starts off with this powerful statement, the Lord is my shepherd. Then he says, I shall not want. Well, I see that in, in two ways. I think both are, are perfectly appropriate. It is, it is in one sense a promise. God is my shepherd, I shall, in the future, I shall not want. So it's a promise. But it's also a reality. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I do not want. I have no wants. If I were to give a title to this devotional, I would say, Everything I need, the Lord is. It's not just that he provides it. In the end, he is everything I need. He says, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. Green pastures, still waters. What is that telling us about the shepherd? The shepherd who, who owns us and leads us and guides us. It says that he is kind and good. He makes sure we go to green pastures. He makes sure to take us by still waters. It tells us about his character, that he is good, that he is kind. This is not trying to say that our life is going to be always on a green pasture and always beside still waters. No, although ultimately... That is our destination. Our destination is to live forever with God in green pastures, so to speak, and by still waters. Everything will be excellent. But in this life, many times he allows us exactly the opposite, to go by and through areas that are not green pastures and by waters that are a bit more turbulent than still waters. But he is our shepherd. He's always with us. During the night when I have a, a time, when I, maybe one of these nights when I can't sleep, my mind is just churning and churning. It may be a problem, maybe a, a spiritual issue at church or a financial matter or health or whatever. And I cannot, I can't shut my mind down three o'clock in the morning or four or five or whatever. My very first go-to is this verse. Psalm 23, 1, the first one, and that, just that first phrase, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. For me personally, I don't know about for you, 
I'm assuming it's the same for many others, but for me personally, that verse is almost like taking a sleeping pill. <laughs> that sounds a little weird, baby, but it listen, literally, I can be churning over something and not be able to let it go. Lord, help me to go to sleep. Now, it, and, you know, I still keep churning. But I'll go to that verse and I'll say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He has everything. He is everything I need. Settle down. Chill. Just be quiet. The next thing I know, it's morning. <laughs> that has happened to me so many times, I can't count it. Uh, can't, I, don't, I don't know how many times that's happened, but I, that's my first go-to verse. Psalm 23, 1. What a beautiful verse. And the rest of the psalm is absolutely loaded with truth about the Lord and about us as well. And maybe we can look at that in the, in the coming, coming days. But let me read it again to, to end and point you again and myself to that wonderful scripture. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. That is his desire for me. What a blessing. God bless you. Goodbye.